You might not know the depth, you might not know the weight, but if you join me, Eunice Johnson, on Issues of the Moment, you definitely will find out all the answers you are looking for regarding burning issues ranging from politics, religion, economy, just name it. Issues of the Moment is your information hub. This is the editing suite of Television Nigeria and the place where we decide which news gets to go on air and which one doesn't. In professional terms, we call it gatekeeping. I'm Eunice Johnson. It's another episode of Issues of the Moment. And today, I will be talking to my colleagues. Stay with me. In fact, come with me. <laughs> all right, this is Emmanuel. He is a sports journalist. He does out all the news you need to know about sports. Emmanuel, what does World Press Freedom Day mean to you? Well, as the name implies, World Press Freedom Day is a day set aside to create awareness on the need for the press to be free to go about their normal duties. And the word freedom comes in between it. And as a journalist, I think I think it's a day to go, to be commemorated, a day to remember. The day I think is a day a day that uh, the public is meant to understand the importance of uh, journalism and the reason. I mean, and why. Journalists must be allowed to do their work because as the fourth estate of the realm, we, we are there to, to, to critique government, we are, the, we are the link between the government and the people. And um, if, you, if you check what's happening over the globe, all, all this why it's called that most leaders, people from, uh, I mean, the people in power, tend to try to shield certain truths from them, from the, from the people. Try to guard the people from telling the, the truth. truth. And how do they do that? They do that by attacking the media. So it, it's a wonderful thing. Okay, now speaking of freedom, you're talking about regulating social media. Yeah. Do you think it's something that should be done? Well, it could should be regulated, but not filter the way some other governments are trying to do it. Some other governments are trying to suppress it, suppress the truth by, 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 by restricting how people use the social media. I think that's not supposed to be. But social media must be regulated, uh, but it's very difficult to do that. I don't know how that is going to be uh, possible, but I hope it is regulated so that what we give out to the people are correct, accurate, and a reflection of what we saw. Because a journalist... Correctness, journalist, accuracy, and a true reflection of what is happening. Yes. I want to believe anything is possible, just like they always say. How it's going to happen, I do not know. Yeah. But let's hold on to your words and see it happen. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Yeah, well, We're now moving on straight to Mr. Arthur. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, he is someone who strolled permit me to use that word he strolled from the banking world to journalism and now he seems to be enjoying and making the most of it what do you think about today world press freedom day yeah, thank you very much today's world freedom day marks the day that the press should be free on taking out whatever activities or the news they have to carry out and to demand the awareness, to raise the awareness of the press, giving them the freedom to exercise their rights. Because I could remember, uh, according to statistics, last year about 95,000 journalists have been killed, which is not a uh, thing. It's quite unfortunate. At least I forget, while he was referring to statistics and all of that, I thought I should let you know that World Press Freedom Day is a day set aside by the United Nations to create awareness on the importance of press freedom. At this point, we will move on straight to our newspaper analyst. He seems quite busy, but we might have to disturb you a bit. Yeah. Victor, I call him Vicoco. All right, um, <laughs> today is World Press Freedom Day. and. <clears throat> Basically, we're looking at what it means to you personally as a journalist. What does World Press Freedom Day mean to you? Okay, World Press Freedom Day to me means that uh, I, I can continue to do my job. I can continue reporting the facts, the truth, <clears throat> without being intimidated by the government or those who, or those who the truth might actually hurt. That's okay, cool. yeah, that's quite a <clears throat> quick concise and you know straight to the point yes but then we want to also talk about regulating social media social media 
is some arm of the press. We could call it an arm of the press. And people use it. It has become a part of every, virtually everyone, some sort of way, uses social media. Do you think it should be regulated? On the issue of social media, I'm, I'm a bit quite divided on that issue because social media, as, like you say, is part of the press and no arm of the press should be muzzled or regulated. But the way people get to use, some people get to use social media in spreading uh, fake news, trying to lessen propagate hate and all of that, it will get to a point where the government would, might want to regulate um, social media. So I think the citizens, the people themselves, people who use social media have to regulate the way they use social media so that the government doesn't come to regulate social media and by, by that extent um, regulating press freedom. Okay, so you're talking about <coughs> self-regulation. If you do self-regulation, the government might not need to regulate. Thank you very much. You could continue your job. Thanks for your time. This is the marketing man himself. He is Salako. I call him SLK. <laughs> Solomon. Triple S, actually. Mm -hmm. Sukomi Salako That's Solomon. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing with all the S's? And to think that social media <laughs> starts with S. So let's start with that. You are a marketer and you use social media for a lot of things. That's now true. they are talking about regulating. Do you think it should be done? Mm. I'm divided, actually. <laughs> but I also think it should be regulated. You know, um, journalism is a responsible profession. But social media gives room to everybody to spread and disseminate different type of information. Some of them are introducing panic to the society. The information that um, ordinarily makes some people do what they ought not to do. I remember the Ebola scenario. Everybody beaten with salt and all of that. <laughs> because that is false information. It wasn't approved by anybody, but it went viral. Mm -hmm. People started doing what they shouldn't do. Let's assume it's something that could be harmful to people's health. They will have um, um, done more harm to themselves. Um, so I'm quite divided. But when you they look at it, that uh, sometimes the mainstream media could be politicized. Um, for instance, I also read of how CNN and um, President Donald Trump had issues during this election. But for the power of Twitter and the use of social media, Trump wasn't given a voice. But um, so I'm quite, divide, I'm quite divided. But I think uh, I think but it should be But I know you would like it because you know it helps <laughs> yeah, you do, me your do my job thing. better. So. <laughs> I could Thank tell people you. What I Thank you. All right, this is the entertainment man, David Gold. You could see from his hair, gold sparkling all over. <laughs> okay, so perhaps we shouldn't ask him what this day means to him. We should hinge on social media since it's his thing. Okay, social media, what do you think about regulating social media? Okay, um, I think, I think the idea of regulating social media would be good, but there are people would want to use that, to, you know, for their own um, personal uh, interest. Uh, interest, yeah, because social media gives room for anybody to share their opinion. Like, we heard the um, story of success. Now, success would have dropped out of school, if not for social media, so the social media helped her. But then if, if they give the go-ahead to regulate social media, then they are giving the go-ahead to regulate the masses' opinion. You know, I think without regulating social media, there are people that are still going to indulge in social media crimes, social media fraud. So then, there's no point regulating social media. Everybody has an entitlement to what they have to say, you know. And okay, thank you very much, David Gold. You could go on with what you're doing. Thank you. But then we're still moving on to another section of... TVN. This time around, it is TNN. They are also a social media platform, but what they do is in print. So they will be telling us their own side of the story. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm right here in the newsroom of the Nigerian News. This is the print version of TVN, and they get to tell us all the news that we need to know happening all over the globe, Nigeria and outside. And then they do that with social media. So it might be right to start with the social media question. First of all, uh, he seems busy, so let me go to Mr. T. 
today's World Press Freedom Day, and then the idea of social media being regulated, what do you think, since that is what you use for your job? I, I, I would not um, buy to the concept of um, regulating social media. Since um, in the media industry, we express ourselves, in Nigeria especially, we've been given that freedom of um, information. So social media being um, restricted, that means um, journalists will not um, have that liberty to express ourselves and go beyond the boundary. So I don't um, think um, restricting social media would be a good idea. So personally to you, what does, what does World Press Freedom Day mean to you personally? I think it's a day where governments are uh, we remind the government about their duty to respect um, the freedom of speech of um, individuals. So basically, I think um, that is what um, it um, means to me. Are you celebrating it in any particular way? Uh, I'm here in the <laughs> office writing. So that's, yeah, so that's you well. exercising Back your duty. Yeah, Thank you very much. Oh. All right, we're going to be taking some minutes of your time as well. First of all, World Press Freedom Day. We're celebrating today. We're journalists and we're happy that we have a day set aside to celebrate us. What does it mean to you? You know, when you first, when you talk about freedom, you talk of the ability of the individual to behave within the confines of the law without undue restrictions. And when you talk about press, you talk of, a, you talk of expression, which is engraved in the Constitution as a human right. Internationally, it is recognized that for a democracy to thrive or to be said to be in practice, the press must be free. This is the fourth rim that holds the government to its toes, connects the people, bridges the gap between the leaders and the led. It informs, it educates. If they are gagged, the main essence of press, journalism, which is information, will be defeated. But to an extent, it is also engraved in the Constitution. No right is absolute. The right must work hand in hand with the Constitution of the land. You made a lot of sense. Now, social media, which is what you use to do your job uh, effectively, uh, the talks about it being regulated, do you buy the idea? Uh, yes, I've read on many forums, both printed and online, that uh, so many lawmakers in the country espousing the idea of regulating social media. You know, when you look at the complexity of this country, some persons are from Calabar, some persons are from Benue, some persons are from Kano. We come together only on the social media. But what defines our achievements as social media made the world small, made the country small. I can communicate with somebody in Kano. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to his culture. I might not be there. Mm -hmm. What defines what we achieve from it is the, our activities on the social media. In as much as I will frown at any executive actions to regulate or to scrap the social media entirely. I will also advise social media users to be cautious of hate speeches, of uh, misinformation, of fake news. Like what somebody reported of uh, Boko Haram being paid $3,000 or what a day. And we had the Nigerian Army coming out, Nigerian Army of personnel coming out to debunk it. They don't make such reportage on the social media. It will go on to encourage the youths to get recruited in the Boko Haram. So there is a way we unfairly report issues on the social media that ought not to be so. This goes a long way to encourage the enemies, compound the issues in Nigeria, banditry, criminalities, all forms of it. Okay, so you're saying it's a two-way thing, it's as two much as it shouldn't yes. be regulated. It shouldn't People be regulated. People who use it should use it responsibly. Responsibly. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank yeah. you very much. We're talking about World Press Freedom Day. Well, um, basically, World Press Freedom Day um, relates to me as a journalist, or all journalists, as a day of preparation. You get to exercise, you get to express yourself freely a day where, um, since we are media people, we are responsible for passing information, news all over the world. So 
you don't have to be limited to the kind of news you you pass across as long as as much as you have to also respect um you have to work within the confines of the law you also have to be free in your own right as a journalist so i think that's what world press freedom day yeah well means spoken to me. so now social media i know that you will be a big time fan of using social media for so many things so if the idea of regulating social media has been up out there what do you think about it okay well i think it goes both ways um social media is fast becoming the easiest and also the fastest way of communicating to a whole number a lot of people across the globe uh, because most people have their smartphones now and so any 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 trending news at all you get to see it on social media that being said we also have a lot of fake news misinformation people misleading people online so i i think um talking about regulating it uh, it goes both ways people should just be cautious of the kind of news you give out there you don't just go ahead and mislead people because you don't have to incite people unnecessarily with your fake information so like i said it goes both ways it's either way yeah thank you very much thank you and now to the law actually he's lawrence but i like to call him the law because he has a lot of laws backing so many principles and all of that personally that's what i think about him anyway <laughs> so today is world press freedom day and um i'd like to ask what you think about it personally what does it mean to you world press freedom day is a uh, day set aside to um as, 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 it, as, it, as it relates uh, a, a press freedom to uh, commemorate freedom of information, freedom of speech, and what have you. And um, Nigeria has come a long way. We've come of age, as a matter of fact, in terms of press freedom, because in the past, uh, go way back in the military era, you had times where journalists under the draconian law were harassed, detained, and what have you. These are not the issues on the front burner again. To see that people write freely, people are able to express themselves. And I think it is right for Nigerians to really mark a day like this. Okay, so the use of social media. Many a times when I see you, I see you with your phone, and I keep asking myself, what is he doing with that? What is he always pressing on that phone? And I want to believe a larger part of it goes to social media. So what do you think about the regulation of social media? Actually, personally, as a, I work about 18 hours every day or more, well, sometimes depending on the circumstances. You see, the world has gone upwardly mobile. People have transited from the, the traditional media that you know, the newspaper, television and all that, everything is now mobile so you have to keep up with the pace this is why most of the time you know, <laughs> <laughs> tend to always use our phones when we're posting stories and you know tracking breaking news because how you sell is how fast you're able to you know extract breaking information and you know disseminate to your audience but as a matter of fact this also comes with um, its own responsibility because there's nothing cool about lo losing control now social media is so free and Everyone with an Android with a Blackberry, I mean an iPhone is a smartphone you, You're a journalist already automatically, but mm -hmm. of course there are some responsibility that comes with it You need to understand that Your information must be verified If you are picking information from anywhere it should be a verified source and then Whatever you're dishing out to the public must be authentic. So, you have this era of um, fake news, especially in the last completed political era when people come up with things that are not real. So our own duty as journalists, because we already have press freedom as Nigeria is concerned, is to be able to know, I mean, uh, identify those information that are not genuine, seek them, and then be able to, you know, dish out you know the right information to, to the general public so that, that's what makes you different from the amateur 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, it appears that the Nigerian news personnel, they are just versed in virtually everything you ask them. They're just ready to dole out information, ranging from all the big, big grammars to all the smallest itty bitty tit bits of information. Thank you very much for your time, everybody. It was nice speaking with you guys. I could go on and on. Okay, so that's about it on today's episode of Issues of the Moment. And from all of us here at TVN, Happy WordPress Freedom Day! See you some other time. Bye.